Hello everyone, welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2, where I've decided to use the dropship to build a Minma space. And we're just going to launch it vertically, even though I tested getting it to orbit horizontally in the previous video, uh, because we need to carry cargo, and I would prefer not to have to refuel it, because that involves docking it and undocking, and that's always a little bit dodgy right now. So, we are carrying cargo in here, and it's actually three different base modules, once this pops up. Uh, they're, uh, these, what are those anyway? Forget their name, they're new. Uh, Wanderer cans. There are three Wanderer cans with tiny little wheels on the bottom, some solar panels on top, and a docking port to release from the cargo bay. And so they're just, I could only fit three in there, otherwise I would fit more. And they will use the wheels to sort of maneuver themselves to the right location, hopefully. Because uh, we don't want them, well, I mean, having them three in a row might not be the worst thing, but we probably don't want them three in a row. And then we'll see how well uh, base modules survive on Minmus these days, right? Because we had a lot of explodiness and hoppiness on the moon when I tried to make a moon base, and we're hoping that that's not going to happen now, but we don't know. Now, Minmus is a problem because Minmus has the SOI issue, right? Uh, so when we're coming back from Minmus, it's going to lie to us and it'll be backwards. But this should have enough delta V to compensate for that, hopefully. Uh, we have vector engines. I did not place them in uh, symmetry initially. They're, they're just two-way symmetry. That's why they're all lopsided like this, because I just I just threw them on. And there's nine on each, but obviously those are not symmetrically placed. Uh, that's to avoid any symmetry problems between the two boosters. And we've got fins for the center of pressure, or center of lift. And so 18 vectors will fire initially. That gives us a, uh, well, apparently a zero thrust weight ratio. I don't know. <laughs> um, it should be enough thrust weight ratio. And then we're going to separate those off and it'll go, go on its way to Minmus. So that's the idea. Now, is it going to work? I have not put any struts between the boosters and the wings. And the decoupler is attached directly to the wing. This is an experiment. Uh, I fully expect this to fall apart. I don't expect this to work properly, but I'm a strut minimalist, so I'm going to see what the minimal struttage will be, and we will adjust from there. So first of all, let's see if this falls apart. It doesn't really... That's interesting. We'll sort of have to do a roll, but that's unavoidable with the tower there. Um, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll have to do a 90 degree roll, but okay, but, but it's already activated. That's wrong, right? Um, uh, did they separate and just not tell me? No, I mean, we see the engines. Okay, let's see what happens. I guess that's just how it is. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's have more struts. Now they might not be firing exactly through the center of mass, but I think struts will help. But it was much more stable than I expected it, and probably more stable than you expected it too. Uh, so that's why I checked. Things seem to be a little bit more rigid these days. Interesting, it doesn't let you change the symmetry after you pull the strut out. I've just put two each right now. Now, I've put separatrons on the boosters, of course. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, separatrons on the boosters, of course. And they... I put, placed them so that they wouldn't be firing at the dropship. But that might be too picky. And they might not go off safely. We'll see. Hopefully I've got them right, but I was a little bit finicky with the separatrons, uh, separatron angles, so that they didn't fire at the wings or anything like that, or the body. And that might be going too far. We'll find out. Okay, so just two, two struts per booster. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Well, much less flex. It's tough to control it though. The vectors do, you know, vector a lot.
Okay, we actually managed the roll program. Stellar exposure. I really don't need that notification right now. <laughs> but I guess in certain circumstances it'll be important, so... But it might be overdoing it. I mean, if you have a lot of solar panels, it's going to be popping up constantly. And yeah, attaching the boosters directly to the wing, or decouplers directly to the wing and the boosters to them. Uh, so far, so good. That Delta V is confused, for sure. But I guess with the weird staging, that's to be expected. Um, let's cut it there. Booster set. Uh, I didn't really want to be rolling all over the place, but alright. They're off, though. And they'll be deorbiting. And we have plenty of time to wap wap this. Oh, I forgot the RCS ports. Shoot. Well, we verified the launch system, but we need RCS ports. Well, we'll see whether we need RCS ports. We're not planning to dock with anything. Well, it's in orbit. All right. Let's try to get to Minmus. And we don't need to plot two things at once. Okay, we'll just leave it like that for now. So the vectors, uh, we are fully fueled right now, and the vectors will do the landing portion, and they're supposed to be able to have enough Delta V to land modules like this on the moon, not just Minmus. So we're a little bit over endowed with fuel for Minmus, but well, that'll be good. Well, there it is. Heading into the uncertain night. Okay, well, that's good enough for now. Okay, then it does something else. So let's just not bring it that close initially. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll take this. It's only 44 meters per second. No problems. Anyway, we have an encounter. Let's just go over there and see how it is and fix it up in Minmus SOI. We have 684 right now, which might, or not, might not be what we want, but once we dump some of the vector fuel and put the payload on the surface, we should be much better off with the Swerve Delta V. Okay, Minmus SOI. Um, rather, well, yeah, Mimus gravity isn't that great. I'll just uh, capture and then bring the orbit down rather than do a radial burn or anything like that. And actually for the capture we'll use the vector vectors. And of course we have to control from the top port if we want to do things properly, so control from here. 2,000 meters per second with the vectors. There should be a surplus of methane for the jet engines when we eventually get down to using those. I mean, it's a little bit off right now, but that's because we're not right at periapsis. Okay, that'll be good enough periapsis for now. It's pretty good. Alright, let's get lower. Well, yes, very vigorous music. as we get closer to fulfilling our goal here. Let's hold steady there. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. That's good enough. All right. Um, why don't we land them here? Seems good enough. There's just a test, but, you know, eventually it could be a full-fledged Minmus base. That too is testing the integrity of this patch. Now the vectors are super OP for Minmus. But we'll make do. We do have infinite throttling. And also infinite ignitions. Might as well put the brakes on right now. Well, SAS and the retrograde hold option seems to be doing pretty well right now. 
Minmus is rather easy in this regard, but still, at least that's something. No, it doesn't really matter if we roll around a little bit. Oh, up, 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 okay, okay, but I don't really want to hop. I didn't really want to hop. Uh, oh gosh, how did I manage to do this? Okay, I'm glad I put the rear gear there. <laughs> this thing is just hopping all over the place. Okay, it'll be fine eventually. Eventually there'll be gravity. Oh, another hop. The landing gear does sort of act a bit strangely these days. But okay, we seem to be on the ground even though they're not lying flat. Let's open the cargo bay. Oh, I should put cargo bay lights. Okay, let's plop the first one. Undock. Pop the second one. Let's just see if we can just do this directly. Undock. And the third one. Undock. Okay. So, we have three little modules on the surface. Well, okay, they're a little bit not quite on the surface. Well, those two are. The middle one is a little bit imbalanced. I don't know what's going on with this. What is... Why is that battery like that? They, they have batteries on top. There's supposed to be a docking port battery and then the module. But this one... The battery's sort of floating high. It doesn't have its docking port. So that's weird. And this one doesn't have the battery or the docking port. The battery was necessary because we have the little rover wheels and we need to move them around. They, they have internal power, but it's not ideal. Um, well, fine. We, we'll deal with them a little bit later. Let's get to orbit first. But yeah, peculiar, not quite successful there. Um... I don't know. I heard some sound from down there. Hope everything's gonna be alright. Well, I mean, everything's already not alright, but we did pack them in pretty tightly in the bay. I definitely don't want a time warp. I'm gonna leave a big distance between us and the modules on the ground before I time warp. I don't see them anymore. I... Oh, there they are. Uh, the labeling in white might not be the best idea. Well, 12 kilometers. If we can't time warp now, we never will be able to. Okay, we are in orbit. I think that might be enough with the vectors. Let's see how much delta V we have. My action group for the swerve, it doesn't bring up the swerve. You know, it doesn't show the delta V of the swerve like that. I don't know. Hmm. There's something weird with this display right now. I don't even know which engines I have active. Okay, it seems like I have none, so fine. Now we have that active. Okay, fine. Okay, so we've got the swerve, but I have no idea how much delta V it actually has. But we're in orbit, let's check on our base modules. I don't know if it's a good idea to even look at them or not, but... Focus. Um, control. Oh, well, that backfired. It says so. Um, let me... Well, we've got three for a reason. Let's go to the tracking station and try to switch to one. I don't know what backfired. Let's control. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's one. Your guess is as good as mine about the other two. It's not got wheels anymore. <laughs> and it's sort of tilted to one side, and I don't know where the other two are. So I think uh, our plans for a Minmus base might have to wait. Oh, there's, no, that's just ice. Yep, I don't know where they are. Now uh, in the tracking station. No, well, now we have debris, 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 debris. A default name 11 is the remaining module on the base, and then the rest is all debris, and... 
yeah, they all got destroyed somehow. Okay, well. Let's just uh, bring this back, shall we? So, I'm gonna plot it the way I would normally pl Oh, you could probably just burn right now, actually. And now we have to control from the cockpit again. But I should plot it just to give myself a reference. Map out of fuel. Maneuver node. What? Okay, but we're not out of fuel. I mean, let's double check. Because, I mean, well, we've got methane. How about mephalox? We've got mephalox. We've got hydrogen, right? Hydrogen? We've got hydrogen. We've got all the things. But when I click here, create maneuver, it says map out of fuel maneuver node. So, um, Houston, we have a problem, I guess. All right, we'll just burn in the blind without plotting. I'll just look at the map and figure it out. We'll just go out and then bring the orbit down. Now it's showing our orbit going up, but again, we know that that's not going to be the situation. So maybe we'll try the moon. Mimus and bases. I don't know if it's because of the way I put the modules in the cargo bay and the fact that they were sort of on top of... Uh, the middle one was in, on top of another one. Of course, that shouldn't automatically cause them to all explode, but... You know. Or whether it's Mimus itself being an issue. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, so retrograde. So we would have two options. We could error break or we could use the delta V to get into a low orbit. I'm just going to use the delta V since I think our vectors have enough. And we'll just use the vector delta V. Coming back from the moon, I probably... I don't know if we'll have as much. Well, we won't have as much. So we probably will just error break in that case. Well, that's pretty low, but that'll be alright. Okay, there's Kerbin and the moon. Woo, 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 let's not go too fast. And yeah, we're not going to find out how much delta V we have. Is it this stage that's the problem? Let me just get rid of that. No, that wasn't the problem. <laughs> it's just all confused. I mean, it is a confusing situation, let's face it. No apparent problems with the vector balance out here. I mean, it's using a little bit of pitch there, but not so much that's going to be an issue. Trying to bring it back to the Space Center is going to be a bit of a trick though. Okay, that will be our prospective descent trajectory. We'll control from the cockpit from here on. We have no RCS, it's just the reaction wheel. And I'm going to turn off the vectors in theory. It didn't make any sound, but I press the action group and I'm going to turn on the jet engines. But yeah, I wish staging would tell me which engines I actually have active. It says status off, so that's good. And these methane air deprived, so I guess that's okay. So everything seems to be right there. Ah, we're totally going to overshoot. Pretty sure. Okay, first re-entry test, full, full re-entry test with this. We did get it to a high altitude and bring it back down to the eastern peninsula, but we didn't really do a full re-entry test. It seemed to do all right there. Yeah, definitely looking like we we're going to overshoot. But again, jet engines, so we will see. Lots of methane. Problem is, lots of oxidizers still hanging out. I don't know why that popped up. So we might actually want to run the vectors for a little bit first. Maybe we can do that right now, just to slow down. Okay, I think the vectors are on.
Oh, 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 I'm pitching the wrong way. That's my fault. I went the wrong way. Oh, then didn't slow us down much. Space Center's over there. Vaguely recall, did they add air brakes? I know they added a bunch of parts. I think they might have. I'll have to double check that. Maybe we should add those if they have. We're gliding way too much. It looks like maybe we should just land on the same beach we landed on before. Oh, 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 oh. No, pitch down, pitch down, pitch down. Oh, no. I left it pitched up too long. But come on, go down, go down, go down. Okay, we need to go back to the prograde vector. Needs to start flying properly now. Yep, uh, we'll just land at the Eastern Peninsula. It seems to be where this thing likes to land. While we're still high up, I'll take the liberty of firing the swerve and getting rid of its fuel. Okay, that's probably overdoing it. We might not even need the jet engines you know, carrying 8 tons of methane. I wonder if that would be enough to bring us like back, but it doesn't seem like 8 tons is probably not enough. Just judging from my experience with the Sakura. We're actually going pretty fast. Mach 3 at this altitude is very fast. Let's slow down a bit. It's pretty extraordinary as far as its ability to, ability to fly. Oh, let's take the brakes off. Now, when I did that handbrake turn with the... Can I get the brakes off? Doesn't seem like I can get the brakes off. But other than that, it will have been a very good mission with this all the way out to Minmus and back. The whole base module issue, well... We'll see whether some other location might be a little bit more conducive to establishing a base. Or whether we could just have one big module in the bay instead of three little ones. Yeah, this is just doing extraordinarily well. Better than I expected. I think I'll put the landing gear down now. We're below 150. Oh, now the brakes are off. Okay. Yeah, looks pretty good down there. Uh, but there's some bumps in the landscape up ahead. Okay, brakes, 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 brakes. I'm trying to be gentle with it so it doesn't skid. Uh, it's still skidding. Uh, but, but, but brakes. Oh, we lost that one. Oh, oh no, no, oh. Well, so things aren't exactly perfect around here, but on a runway it would have worked out pretty well. Um... Yeah, that's a little bit of a disappointment, but, but, in principle, the dropship is working great. All right, so we'll see. Maybe we should send it somewhere else. Um, I'll have to think about where would be good, but for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.